What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Horizon Burning Shores, the Horizon Forbidden West DLC being review bombed. So it's being review bombed pretty simply because Aloy kisses a woman. Um, actually, there's an option to kiss a woman uh, at the end of the DLC. It's not even like something you have to do. It's literally a choice. Um, but there's an option to kiss a woman, a character, uh, Seika, I believe her name was, um, at the end of the DLC. By the way, DLC is, is, is pretty damn good. Um, I beat it. It's about five main missions, three side missions. There's a few new machines in there. You can get, a, get on a water wing, fly through the clouds. The, the final boss is really good. The scale and scope of the final boss, uh, better than, the, than the, the, the base game's final boss. And this is it's this DLC is PS5 only, and you could see some um, some ways of why they decided to make this PS5 only. Not to say that it couldn't run on PS4, but you, you could run this on PS4 with with I believe some major compromises, especially with that with that final boss. But I recommend the DLC; it's it's pretty damn good. I did a playthrough of it. So people are review bombing the game um, because yeah, Aloy has the option to kiss a woman, and as you can see on screen, as I put it on screen. It's an option. Um, you can select, yes, I do, and that'll initiate the kiss. Or you could select the, the logical brain option, which is what I selected, where she says, I'm not ready for this, or the more aggressive option where she says, this is too much for me. And I selected the, you know, the, the brain option because um, just because I wanted to see what the, what the dialogue was on in the, in the other situations, right? And the thing about it is, this is not a big deal at all, but you know, you have these idiots who review bomb games, and I don't think there's ever really a legit reason to review bomb a game, and I'm, and I'm going to get into that, right? Nobody should take re review, uh, Metacritic reviews, um, user reviews seriously, and if you do, you're an idiot, and the people who, who review bomb are idiots also. Um, and I don't really think user reviews are even impactful. I don't necessarily think they hurt the game. I don't really think they hurt the, the percep perception of the game, sales, or anything like that. I don't re really think it's, it's an actual, like, smear or, 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 like, uh, or stain on the game's reputation. Because I think most people are smart enough to not take it serious. Um, and Metacritic has made some uh, changes and addressed some of these issues with review bombings, which I'm also going to get into. But the issue, the biggest issue with Metacritic user reviews is one, you don't have to prove that you've even played the game or purchased the game. That's the thing about Steam reviews that people respect. And, and as much as I make fun of PC gamers, even though I'm also a PC gamer, is the PC Steam community takes reviews very seriously. That's one thing that is, is they don't play around with, right? They take very serious um, leaving reviews that inform the community uh, of the game's status, uh, if there's anything that players should know about, the performance, just how they enjoyed the game. That's something that's, that, that they don't play around. That's taken very serious by these people who, who leave Steam reviews because they know other people like depend, depend on them and the people who depend on them, you know, depend on other people's reviews just to know how the game runs, how, how the game is. But on Metacritic, it's, it's just literally mayhem, right? And the thing is, these Metacritic user reviews, a lot of them aren't even actual people. These are bots. I don't know how it's done necessarily, but people just... In, you know, deploy the bots to leave these randomly generated uh, re review bombs um, a bunch at a time, just a massive release of them. And, and th there you have it, a, re a review bomb. And the reason I don't, I don't, I say, I don't think there's any legit reason to ever review bomb a game because regardless of how like egregious something is, and I'm talking about any game across any platform. I think review bombing is stupid, no matter what game you do it to. Because the reason I think it's, it's not really a way to accomplish anything is because you're not really, most, most review bombs don't address an actual issue with like critical, with, with a critical analysis, right? Just saying something is, is using random words that don't really mean anything at this point, like woke 
or SJW or whatever this random word salad shit they use na nowadays to uh you know describe games that have that's not the typical white male um the typical straight white male with a with with a with, with a you know with a beard um doing the same shit that they've always done anything that kind of falls outside the lines of that sometimes is like considered woke and SJW and all the other words that that they use anything that's not that is like you're not actually addressing any issues in the game. Saying zero out of 10, game is woke, doesn't do anything for anybody. That's not actually analyzing or critiquing the game. Even sometimes, like, so people review bomb for, for different reasons or employ bots to review bomb for different reasons. Sometimes it could be for microtransactions, right? Sometimes microtransactions are egregious. But I still think that's not a legitimate reason to review bomb because review bombs are just malicious. They don't, they're not like, they're not really poignant and, and don't directly hit on the issue. Most of these reviews, these user reviews are like maybe one or two sentences. They don't actually delve, di uh, delve uh, into the issue and specifically state anything. So even when it comes to like, let's say a game has egregious microtransactions, it doesn't make any sense that a microtransaction, no matter how egregious, can make a game a zero out of 10. That, that just don't make no sense. A, a game that's a zero out of 10 is literally a, an abysmal catastrophe of a, of a broken game that practically doesn't even run. Now, a logical and reasonable person, if a game that they like has egregious microtransactions, might be like, you know what? I, this game is, is pretty good. I like the game, but these... These microtransactions are offensive. So I'm going to take off one, maybe two points because of these microtransactions and another point for something else, seven out of 10, and, and literally just address what the problem is in the game. But zero out of 10, right off, right off front street, is not a logical person and doesn't mean anything. So that's why I believe... That's why I believe review bombs are never really okay because they don't really address any anything like in, in a intelligent way at, at least. Now, I'm gonna show some of the I'm, I'm gonna look at some of the uh, Metacritic user reviews. Um, but as far as the changes Metacritic has has done to address some of these review bombings, back in 2020, coincident coincidentally, both of these have been with PlayStation games um, that have uh, been the catalyst to make changes um, because PlayStation games tend to kind of like push the envelope when it comes to cer certain things um, with re regarding their storytelling. And I, I don't even think they really push the envelope, but to certain people, they push the envelope. Like to me, some of this stuff is like safe and like, bro, who cares? Um, but back before Horizon, um, before Horizon, there was Gran Turismo and the issue with Gran Turismo was, uh, was, I believe with microtransactions. Once again, I said that. Like, I don't, ha I don't have no problem if somebody says six out of ten, seven out of ten. Microtransactions are, uh, you know, the grind is unacceptable. That's a logical person. Zero out of ten. The whole game can't be bad because of like one microtransactions or my, or an economy or a microtransaction system. That just that just doesn't make sense. And before Gran Turismo Seven, there was The Last of Us, which we know was also re review bombed. And that when that was done. The change that Metacritic did was they changed it so that um, users have to wait 36 hours before post before posting a review for a game. Because one one of the reasons and indicators you knew that those reviews for Last of Us Part Two were fake was because they literally went up at midnight, like damn near as soon as the game launched. There were like zero out of ten reviews, bro. The game just came out. Last of Us is 30 hours. Last of Us Part 2 is 30 hours on, a, on the first playthrough. There ain't no way these dudes played the game. You beat it. Also, thousands of people beat it at midnight before it came out. We know what that situation was. They were, they were upset about their virtual, you know, uh, their virtual daddy Joel got popped with a, with a golf club. So they were upset about it. They were upset about something that happened in a story. Once again... Something happening narratively is not a reason to review bomb a game. These are emotionally unstable people, not to be taken serious. 
They're living in, the, in their mother's basement. They need to be shipped off to some island to be weird by themselves. Um, and so there's been, so that's the, that's the most, that's the first thing I know that Metacritic did. Now with uh, Horizon um, Forbidden West Burning Shores, uh, they put out this statement. They said, fandom is a place of belonging for all fans and, and we take online trust and, safe, and safety very uh, seriously across all our sites, including Metacritic. Metacritic is aware of the abusive and disrespectful reviews uh, Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores of, uh, of Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores, and we have uh, a moderation system in place to track violation of our terms of, of use. Our team reviews and uh, our team reviews each and every report of abuse, including but not limited to racist, sexist, homophobic insults to others, other users, etc. If a violation occurs, uh, the review bombs uh, are removed. We are currently evolving our processes and tools to introduce stricter moderation in the coming months. I don't know if that's really going to help the, the change to make people wait 36 hours. I don't know if that did anything either because they're just going to wait 36 hours to, 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 to deploy the bots. That's all, that's all they're really, really going to do. Um, and like I said, I don't really think these, re these user reviews bots hurt anything. I don't think they really hurt the sales of a game or anything like that. I don't, because I don't know anybody, even the, even the dumber people out there, I don't think are going to go to a, a, a Metacritic user review and, and be like, oh man, people are review bombing this game. I don't think I'm going to buy it. They're, I think people mostly care about the actual Metacritic, critic, the, the actual critical uh, reviews, not the user ones. Um, and if we just take a look at some of these, um, some of these reviews, if I switch screens here. Not, let me zoom in a little bit so make sure y'all can see that. Darth 666, PS5 only. What about the millions? Uh, what, what about the millions are bought the original game for their PS4 and want to play the DLC? See, I can understand maybe being upset about that. But is that an actual review of the game? <laughs> no, it is not. That, that's not actually reviewing the game. And if it and and then if you go to the person's history, look, they've review bombed a ton of shit. Look, look at this. Burning Shores review bomb. Last of Us Part One review bomb. Forspoken review. Just everything. Do do I really have to show anything else? Let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I don't I don't think there's much more to say here. Like, there's really not, bro. There's really not. Like, come on, bro. The first game is pretty boring, but had a cool story. The second game is average in everything. Now this DLC is terrible in everything. People who speak in absolutes like this, like the everything sucks in the game, this is what I'm talking about. Logical people do not speak like this. Logical people actually point out the flaws, state both the flaws and the good things. These people are literally saying everything is bad. Everything is bad, bro. Everything. What is this? Sadly, a weak add-on and dull militancy. Burning Shores doesn't add much to the story and character development. Seems to be optional, but if you want more creatures to defeat, stunning landscapes, you won't be disappointed. See, I'm not actually upset about this statement. But how does this statement equate to a zero? That's, that's, that's the shit that doesn't make sense. And once again, I don't care who, I don't care what game it is, I don't care what platform it's on, but review bombing anything is just completely idiotic to me. It's idiotic, bro. You are a brainlet if you do this. If you, like, use a bot system to do this, you're a dork. And I'm only really addressing this because Metacritic actually made a statement about it. And it's, like, news right now. So it's just, like, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> you, know, you, know what else is, you know what else I absolutely love about Metacritic user reviews? 
You you also know they they do not take it serious and they don't give a fuck based on their username. Sometimes you could tell they m literally just made the username to review bomb the game. My man's name is Aloy Four Hours DLC. Bruh. My man literally just made it. So I don't think I have to like keep going through through those. I think I've I've made my point. Um review bombing on any game is never okay. Zero out of ten indicates a very unstable person. No, I there's never been a game, maybe besides ET, there's never been a game in history that is a, that warrants a zero out of ten. Never been one. Doesn't exist. Maybe besides Death Stranding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Doesn't exist. Even the games I say are, even the games I absolutely hate and I think absolutely suck. The bare minimum, I would probably give that game bare minimum. The game, a game I absolutely hate and think is absolute garbage is probably a five, maybe a four. Because I'm a reasonable and sound minded person. So that's all I got to say about this. Uh, but Meta Metacritic, bro, require people to sign into something, sign into, uh, I don't know, get, get, get some like, like the PlayStation, the Xbox, the, the Switch um, connection where you can sign into your account. I don't know, work, work with the, uh, I don't know. They would probably have to work with the, um, the companies to, to get that done, that integration. But get integration. Do, do something to verify a, a purchase. You need to put that system in because it's ridiculous and nobody is going to take. Like it, you, your, your site just looks like a, like a tool that's being exploited more than anything. So, yeah. Let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter if you're not. All that good stuff. And uh, if you have any idea, any other, other ideas how um, Metacritic can fix their site, put it in the description. Put it in the, in the, in the comment section. Um, once again, got it, you, that's why you got to give the, the Steam community uh, credit about how serious they take their reviews and actually helping out and informing the rest of their community when it comes to the status of, of, uh, of, PC, of PC ports and PC games. So, yeah, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.